Welcome to Active Inspire Basics. Today we are going to explore the basic features of Active Inspire. You can download this flip chart from the Edmodo group or the Moodle group from which you found it. Let's get started. Text tools, text is the next most used tool and there's another difference between the primary look which you see here and the studio look. When I click on the text tool which is over here you'll see that in the studio version the text tool shows up here at the top. Okay, And it's very similar to Microsoft Word. You can change your font, you can change size, you can bold, italicize, underline, you can change the color of the, f of the text, you can left justify center, right justify, you can add bulleted lists, you can uh, indent to the left, you can decrease the indent, and then you can actually bring up the on-screen keyboard, which works in Windows 7. Um, however, this one needs to be have uh, the settings changed so that the default Windows 7 comes up. This is the default Active Inspire one, which I don't like quite as much as the Windows 7 one. So I'm going to get rid of it. So I'm going to change the tools. So I'm going to edit the file settings. I'm going to use the keyboard supplied with the operating system. And so now when I click the keyboard, a large Windows keyboard will come up and I can type. So if I type here, I can just type in my name and it types right there. But if I were to type, notice that it keeps going off the screen and I'll show you that it goes off the screen because I'll reduce the size of this to say 50% it goes off the screen here. Now there's a couple ways to fix this. You'll see that there's a little circle at the end if I click and drag that it will wrap around so that when I type something and I'm just typing gibberish So when I type something, it automatically wraps the text around to the width that you've set. If I were to pull it out, it'll fill it back this way. So that's one nice little feature about that. I'm going to take this and I'm going to reposition the text from this Move Anywhere button. And I'm going to drag it to the trash can down here. So if I wanted to do another text box, I can click here. And this time I want to be sure that it doesn't go off the edge, so I'll drag this resize button just to the edge here, leaving a little bit of a gap so that I've got the same width that I want. And I can just start typing, so... Notice that the words do wrap all the way around. Let's pretend that I want to change the color. So I want to change the word hello to a different color. So I can click and drag and select the word hello and I can come up here to the color change box and I'll make it red. However, you'll see that it's still highlighted in blue and it does not look like anything's changed. So if I click into the white space, you'll see that my color of the text is still red. Another odd thing that can be done is if I click one time on the text box, over the top right corner is the Select All button. If I select all, I can change all of the text to a different color if I want. If I do it again, select all, I can also change the background color of that text box to a different color. And I'll do this light blue color and when I click out of it, now 
the text box is, is um, different color. So I will go into edit mode and I will select all and I'll change the foreground color to something a little more palatable. There we go. So that is using the text. I can reposition my text by using my selector tool. I can click and drag or I can click it one time and I can use my free um, my freely move button to drag it around. I can resize the text box all kinds of different ways and I can move it around uh, and I can rotate it this way by using the rotate button. I've got to keep my mouse button clicked as I do this or if I'm at the board like I'm at now I gotta have that pen firmly on the surface and I can reposition it that way.